Hey YouTube, what's up? <laughs> so I know it's been a while, okay? If you look at the videos and how much I've posted, it's like every month and I'm sorry, okay? So today I'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me just because it's been so long and I have so much to talk about and they need to rant so bad about things that don't even matter. But, I mean, why not? Why not? And also, I've updated my um, daily um, makeup look, I guess you can say. So, I've updated that, obviously, since it's been four ever. Five ever, actually. I have my mirror right there, so I'm not just looking at nothing. Oh my goodness, and then I cut this finger. I cut it really, really bad, and it hurts so bad. And look, I still use it. What's wrong with me? Um, let's see. I had a birthday. My birthday just, no, not just passed. It's December 1st, so hello, December. And my birthday was in October. By the way, I used the Tarte, um... C brightener eye treatment thing it comes in this little pod and then for my face I'm gonna be using the body shop tea tree mattifying lotion looks like this cuz my face is so so freaking oily like no other it's horrible always oh, burns my finger oh. but um yeah Let's see, the 22nd, I mean, this, oh, whoops, the 27th of November marked my two-month relationship with Frankie, and honestly, it's going to be good for me. That's the longest relationship I've had. So now I'm moving in to do my eyebrows. I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown, and then I'm going to be using a number 14 Anastasia Brush. So now I'm just trying to like reboot myself and start fresh and stuff. So I'm redoing my room. Um, I really want to redo my hair because my blonde is literally killing my hair. I don't like it. Like my hair is breaking off. Like this wasn't that long. You see how it has blonde in it and stuff? This sucker used to be an actual full length of hair and it's breaking off. One, because I'm not taking care of it. And two, because I'm not taking care of it. So <laughs> I'm cleaning up my eyebrows with the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation. And this is in the color tan, which is number nine. But yeah, school is going pretty slow. Although, you know, we're already in December. My senioritis hasn't hit me yet. I still don't even feel like a senior. I really don't. But the whole cap and gown and class ring and stuff. Like, I already got all that done. So, I'm good on that. Um, yes, sir. Oh, this brush is a beauty essential i think just a little walgreens brush that came in like an eyebrow pack and i love this brush so much i've always used this brush to do like to clean up my eyebrows because it gets really really precise so. my mom is working so i'm home alone that's why another reason why i was like let's film a video like you're home alone My eyebrows looked gross. They look really, really gross. And so uneven. But shouty is okay. I also want to go get my nails done. Look how ugly, bro. Ugh. I went to go get them done at this place in Mesquite. And they broke off. Literally. Not even a week later. I went to go get them done because my uncle's wedding 
was coming up that weekend and I went like Thursday or Wednesday or something like that and uh, I went to go get them done and they were all cute and I like the nail polish that I chose was like a um I'm using this primer by the way it's a NYX matte primer um it was like it had like this kind of sand texture but it was a cute brown and the nail polish in general sucked because it wouldn't stay on my nail and it kept bending like okay <sighs> rant here it comes i walk in and i grab this nail polish because i wanted them brown like a cute nude brown and that texture and nail polish was the only color closest to the one that i had in mind i went and i got them done he did them perfectly fine then he started painting them it was it was okay it was it was great that it was fine then i went to go dry them under the little uv light thing and um i was like they're ready okay like they're done I'm, i don't want to touch them but i can feel it i can feel that they're done so i get up and i'm using the it cosmetics cc plus uh foundation and i'm only adding like just a little bit i hear children screaming outside my window anyways um then I go and reach into my wallet to go get the money and my nail gets caught in my wallet. So my whole nail polish on like one of my fingers like scrapes off. Like clean scrapes off. And I've been under the, the UV looking light for a while though, right? Oh, there's kids riding their bikes on the street like the movies. Uh, that's adorable. Anyways, I keep getting distracted, Faith. Chill out. Um, Sadie. She's underneath my table. She's barking. Or growling. Roaring? Do dogs roar? No, they don't. She's talking about me. Okay, so after it scrapes off, I go to the guy again. I was like, hey, can you redo this nail? And then he's all like, yeah, 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 yeah. Go to the guy at the end of the at the end of the um, little strip of where everybody was doing their nails. And there was a little guy, and he was open. He was like, you know, like right here, hello. And I was like, oh, okay. So I go to him, and I was like, can you fix this one, one nail, one, one? Tell me why I sit down. And he starts taking off the nail polish out of all of them. Okay, one. I'm with my aunt. And I feel bad because now I have to make my aunt sit there waiting for me as this dude takes off all the nail polish when I specifically told him I only needed one redone. Okay? One redone. And um, he, he, he redoes all of them. So after that's done, I go back to the UV, UV, the UV light thing. And I sit under there for a good amount of time again. And then I'm like, oh, okay. So I guess, you know, I've redone. And, um, what should we call it? I get up and I already paid from the first time where I got the money out of my wallet. So I was like, I felt bad. Like I said, I felt bad for my aunt. And I was like, okay, let's go. So we left. And my aunt has a Jeep. And, you know, well, Jeeps aren't, like, normal cars, okay? They're bougie. And you don't, the little door thing, you don't, like, to make it open, you have to push a little button in and then pull the door open. Well, my whole nail missed the button and I scraped it on the door. How did it happen? I don't know, but I scraped it again. And my aunt was like, go in and tell them to fix it. And I was like, nope, I did that once. They're going to make me sit down and then they're going to make, I mean, they're going to take off all the nut polish again. So I was like, just forget it. We're already out and we're running late and we're both hungry. So, um, I'm like, okay, so we left it at that. And then all throughout like the rest of the night rest of the night my nail polish the brown textured 
cute nail polish kept scraping off and bending and making little indents because they were dry but I don't know why they were doing that but whatever and then oh by the way this is a NYX Cosmetics buffering foundation brush then I'm going to spray my face with the NYX matte finish spray and then I'm gonna beat that into my face with the beauty blender um so yeah that happens and the wedding comes and I'm just done okay not even no 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 that night I'm done I remove my nail polish and I paint them black you can never go wrong with black so that's what I did the cute little nail polish the little cute brown nail polish was gone she was a goner okay she got replaced now i'm going in with this is the la girl pro concealer in the color light ivory and i'm just gonna be concealing my under eyes i'm not touching my forehead i'm not touching my nose i'm not touching touching uh my chin area this is a very coverage yet subtle makeup look. And also, yeah. Oh, and then I'm, uh, you can see what I'm doing, but I'm buffering that in with the beauty blender. I used to do my contour with the LA Girl one, but in a darker shade. Like one of these bad boys. And I used to contour with that, but I don't anymore. Cause I don't, I don't think it makes a difference, honestly. So now I'm setting it all in place with the Kat Von D translucent powder and this, a beauty blender which is flat. I know it's dirty, but there's gonna be a makeup hack video coming soon to a theater near you. No, just kidding. Um, yeah, a makeup hack uh, video coming where I teach you all my tips and tricks of makeup and how to clean your stuff and what else to do you know what i mean I'm gonna go over my nose one more time because literally by the time I finish my makeup my nose is like pouring oil so I'm gonna do that one more time layering my nose once more Bam. Okay. to help me out with some time I'm going to be prepping my eyelashes hold on <laughs> these eyelashes are my go-to i fell in love with these the very first time i put them on i have been continuously buying these because these are my most favorite lashes in the entire world okay these i can wear these by themselves i can wear these when i'm doing a dramatic makeup look i can use like really wear these anywhere and i can depend on these um these are the cosmetics london Eyler X Jasmine Brown and these are in style JB so that's what it looks like and I freaking love Jasmine Brown like she's freaking adorable <sighs> I wouldn't promote something I don't like I can depend on this glue for any and everything this is the duo eyelash glue this is a blue one so this is the white one that ends up being transparent 
Next, I'm going to... Okay, so I already prepped my falsies. Now I'm going to prep my normal leaves. So I'm going to... Now I'm going in with my most favorite mascara in the whole entire world. Uh, I just use a mini because your girl can't afford the big one. Okay? These are $12. Okay, the normal one, which is probably triple the size and more worth it, is about $24. So, oh my God. <laughs> shut your face, Sadie Joe. That's my dog. It's not just my table barking, I swear. Okay, sorry. My aunt calls me. Why am I apologizing to you? I don't, I don't need to apologize to you. Yeah, anyways, I just put on my lashes, and this is what they look like. They're pretty decent lint. <laughs> so, then I'm going to be basic and basic. It's really basic is what I'm trying to say. And I'm going to bronze myself up a little bit. I'm going in with the all-time hula benefit bronzing powder okay and i'm just bronzing myself up in the areas that i would contour okay nice oh and while i was off camera i really didn't do anything but put on my lashes so Honey, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> okay, sorry. She just called again. And we just had a conversation about, you know, universities and stuff. Like I said again, I didn't do anything especial except bronze my face while she was talking. So I'm done with my bronzer. So the last time I talked about... I don't even know if I uploaded that video or not. I probably didn't. But these little things, the highlight um that's cute yes it is thank you grandma but today i'm going to be using a shoddy is on a budget highlighter and this is the elf baked highlighter in the color blush gems okay so with the baked highlighters i don't understand how i'm supposed to get the product off so i use this little uh needle looking thing and I scrape the top just to get the product up and going. See? And then I use a, oh, here it is. This is my highlighting brush. I need to get a smaller one because this sucker puts highlighter all over my face. And shoddy, you know, highlighter's good and all, but sometimes we just don't need it that much. So, I'm just highlighting the high points of my... You see that? Come through, elf. Come through. But y'all bad, bougie, on a budget looking. So, oh, yes. So, yeah, this is my pretty go-to highlighter right now. Now, I'm going to set all of this with some setting spray again going in with my nyx matte spray go ahead and you know feel free to drown yourself in it too just kidding don't do that what a bad influence okay also what i would normally do not normally oh i keep saying normally dude chill out but what i would do if i had thinner more natural lashes i would go ahead and do a signature wing which is a straight wing with my nyx epic ink liner pen which looks like that but with these jd lashes they flare out so much my wing would be covered and i'm not in the mood to do one of those dramatic uh wings right now nor would i do it on a daily basis Mm. so next i'm going in with this is the nyx soft matte i love this. Oh my goodness. 
love this so much. This is my favorite color. Come around. It kind of reminds me as uh as the uh of the uh Mac strip down lip liner pencil, but more pinky. Um but that's the thing though. I don't use MAC because they're not cruelty free. So MAC, if you're watching this, which you're not, go cruelty free so I can love you again. And next I'm layering it with my All May gloss in the color, no dice color, pero dice es un color plus care liquid lip balm. This is what it looks like and it has a great top. I don't know where I got this from. And I'm just layering that on top of yeah, layering that on top of there, and uh, you're done. You are done, or am I done? I am done, dude. Look how long my hair is. I feel like a lion. I need to go get it re dyed, and everything. So yeah, that was my makeup tutorial my daily makeup tutorial and matter of fact oh my gauges are from spencer's these are the lime green um circle they're not circle they're like horn looking ones but yeah thanks for watching like everybody else says like comment and subscribe and comment boop, 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 boop. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned for more in which I'm trying. Uh, believe me, okay? I'm trying to become more constant. But I also need, you know, stuff to freaking record. Because nobody wants to watch boring things. And nobody wants to see me get ready all the time. So I'm always on the lookout for new content. Go ahead and comment what you want to see me do a video next on. It could be a... Q and A. It could be a room tour after I get my room together along with my life. It could be another school vlog. It could be a makeup look for all I care, but I am not creative. So So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.